Thank you very much. So my name is Christina Fox. I'm the Community Resource Coordinator for the Rhode Island Community Food Bank. And I'm here testifying on behalf of the Food Bank. Uh, the testimony that's in front of you is from Andrew Schiff, who is our CEO. That's it. Chairperson Fogarty and members of the Senate Committee on Labor. The Rhode Island Community Food Bank is in full support of Senate Bill 2244, which would gradually raise Rhode Island's hourly minimum wage to $15 by 2020 and by 2026 for employees receiving gratuity. Gratuities, excuse me. Each month, the Rhode Island Community Food Bank's statewide network of food pantries serves over 57,000 people. It's no surprise that the families served by the Rhode Island Community Food Bank are poor and hungry. But what's shocking is that they are often working families. Among food pantry clients in Rhode Island, 44% live in a household where at least one adult is employed. Of the 121 meal sites and pantries within the food bank network, 67 are open on weekends and past 5 p.m. on weekdays, specifically to accommodate the schedules of working people. And actually included in uh, the folder which contains our testimony is a list of our food assistance network with those pantries highlighted. And I would just encourage you to use that whenever you receive calls from constituents looking for help uh, feeding their families. Now, low-wage jobs just don't provide enough income to pay the bills, leaving families with impossible choices. 70% of those served by the food bank report choosing between paying for food or utilities. 62% report choosing between paying for food or rent. Many of the families we serve also receive help from safety net programs such as SNAP, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, and WIC, a Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children. However, these programs cannot support families the same way that a living wage can. Our goal should be to overcome the deficits in the household food budgets of working families and shorten the line at pantries. And there is no better way to do this than by making sure that Rhode Islanders are paid a living wage for the work that they do. Increasing the minimum wage means increasing the standard of living for all Rhode Islanders and decreasing reliance on food pantries and safety net programs. I urge each member of the Senate Labor Committee to vote this out of committee and to please send this to the Senate floor with your full support. Thank you very much for your time.